So here at our school last year, we went to FMT, Father Michael Troy, and we went on an observation to see their flex day in action. And we got a feel for how the students get to independently go around to different sessions and actively engage in their learning. So what, how did you take what you saw over at FMT and create it into your own process? So one thing that we took from them is they had a schedule up for the children of the different sessions and the kids independently logged on and, and filled in where they wanted to go. We did a similar idea. We made a, a schedule of the four or five different sessions the kids could go to and then the teachers uh, assisted the children with signing up. So we took that concept from them and then we also took um, the concept, we don't do it for a whole day, we do it for a block. So when we, when the kids go to flex block, they go for 45 minutes, they don't go for the whole day. Uh, FMT does it on Thursday and we do it as, on Thursday as well. Uh, flex block allows for um, more collaboration and dialogue among all staff, teachers and support staff. Uh, they are given the opportunity to um, get together and talk about the different sessions that they are going to uh, provide for our students or that the students would like to see in the flex block. As well, not all our staff teaches a session um, during the Thursday. Flex block allows flex time for our teachers so that they are able to meet and collaborate with with each other and plan for future sessions. And what I do as a participant of the staff is to have um, students from every grade level enjoy making some fabulous food ideas following the Canada Food Guide. Whole wheat bread slices, one teaspoon of butter, one out of four seed. Um, one quarter? Oh yeah, one quarter. It has been ever so awesome. The kids are so excited. Uh, they're bubbly. They want to get their hands into the ingredients. They're measuring ingredients, reading food, um, food items, and wanting to elaborate with these items at home. Like powder, just a sprinkle, and sprinkle it all around, making it nice and flavorful. And share them with their family. Okay, so what do you like about flex time? Um, I like that we get to uh, do other things besides just schoolwork. Like we get to do like geocaching, gardening. Hey, remember that's one of the most beautiful purple flowers ahead and gives you these. That are in the pop pine cone. No, not the white. It's usually just a little seed that's stuck. Now, not every pine cone has it because these are have popped up quite a while ago. Leadership games. Yay. This one is seems pretty easy. You have to keep three balloons up in the air for the full minute. Okay, I'm gonna go. You got 30 seconds. Oh. 30 seconds. Oh. 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 Yes, I'm winning it. Nice one. I knew I could do it. Yeah, I did it. I did two already. Gardening, uh, we do a lot of fun, like parachute games and pedometer challenge. Okay, you're done. Good job. And write your name and check the steps. Open your pedometer and check how many steps. When you're done all of the all of the strips. You check your pedometer and see how many steps you have. Then you write it down on this team young and yours yours like this. This is for a certificate. And then you just made your name. I made hmm, steps. So what do you like about this flex challenge? What do you think is different about this? And what what do you enjoy about it? I enjoy that I get to be with a partner because usually I don't. And I enjoy that it's kind of like finding stuff for like kind of like explorers finding stuff. It's fun. Does it keep you active? Yeah. Yeah. So how many steps did you get with your pedometer? I've got 1,304. That's pretty good. Congratulations. During flex block, um, we get to uh, do like different th stuff, and um, we also like get to. Um, do many things that we don't usually get to do and in the beginning of the year we didn't do this so once it happened it was really exciting. So, so during flex block we assess the students um, we use an informal assessment it's a visual journal that we have them do during art class 
And after each flex block, they have a variety of materials they can choose from from our atelier and they get to represent what it is that they did at Flex Block. So this student, she did a title page. She titled it Fun Flex, and the children are allowed to use materials from the atelier. They get to choose what it is that they want to do to represent their learning. And on other pages, um, we had the kids write about what it is that they liked about Flex Block, and then also to reflect on what they learned, and also maybe um, next time what it is that they do differently at that block or where they choose to go next. And I'll just flip it over this side. Uh, this uh, child, she chose uh, to represent dance so that it stood out and then also she did a reflection on the side. So it's an informal piece of assessment but it allows the kids to reflect on their learning in an authentic way. Oh, some of the benefits for students with FlexBlock is choice. They absolutely own what they're doing. Uh, you see a drop in any kind of behavioral issues because they want to be there. And now, it doesn't work out perfectly every time, but because the schedule rotates on a, like on a trimester basis, they really do get to pick uh, a variety of things that they like. The way my teaching has changed has been to be more cognizant of meeting the needs of every child. I'm having to teach kids anywhere from kindergarten to grade six. And so I need to make sure that uh, the lessons are differentiated and scaffolded in a way that it's accessible to each student, that the language is accessible, that I'm not too theoretical, more with the grade sixes and, and less so uh, with the, the kinders. So I really have to kind of refine my practice to make sure I'm delivering a good lesson. I think for me, um, one of the biggest things that I've changed is that ability to let go of some control in the classroom and allow allow the kids to show their independence without me you know always hovering around them and me more so being a facilitator of their learning <laughs> My relationship with the children has, has totally changed. It's grown. I've become part of this community, not only um, with the teachers and the admit staff, but I'm part of them. They're always coming up and asking me, Mrs. Perry, what's up for next block, uh, for our next flex block session, and what are we making? And hey, what's for supper tonight, Mrs. Perry? So they're very excited. It's just brought in a different dimension uh, in learning something new. As you should.